My name is Mrs. Fashino. I'm the uh, I am the Amazon Education Officer. I will be your tour guide, so let's go. And in the group here, we we'll have 75 hectares of land. And in the group, no hunting, no fishing, no cutting of trees, no burning of bush, no building of houses, no dumping of revenues, and so on. This part here, this part here, the feet, the flying tortoise. This is the first uh, traditional entrance before the erection of that high young gate. Yes. She was an Austrian woman. She came to Nigeria early 50, though she was married then, she was married to Libya. The husband came for sabbatical and she came with the husband and she came and witnessed the festival here. And for her to know more about the culture of this place, she divorced the white husband and got married to Nisi Joma here. And she was initiated into a Batala Kotisa named her the new Lorisha. She did all the artistic work you can find in this before she died last seven years, at the age of 94. This part here, the pits are pets. She likes pets. This is the pit her. The other two, the pit those that assisted her when she was doing the artistic work. Quite the last one, the pit, the last one she later got married to. This part here, we call it Olo Moyoyo. It's the pit the goddess has God of fertility. She's God of fertility and healing. She gives, uh, she gives children that's why she's been attached with many children. And the worshippers, they believe this place is also a worshipping place. Anybody that comes to the goddess when they can start their request. From here before they get to the shrine. Okay. okay. So this was Shonlo Moyoyo. Shonlo Moyoyo. Shonlo Moyoyo. What you doing along? Uh -huh. You can see the uh, wall, you can see that it's in a lizard form. It defeats the wave of the river. And here, that wall, they believe there are a lot of spirits. We, we, we that we are not initiated, they cannot see. So, as we are going now, there are a lot of spirits that are going, but we cannot see them. That's why you see that these people were not working the way we were. Look at them, you can see that some of them are like this. They believe there are a lot of spirits here, which we, that we are not initiated, cannot see. And this part here, the people of them. Ogun happened to be the husband of Osoya and Oba. And, and I mean Shongo, sorry, Shongo. And Shongo was the fourth alarm for you. And the worshippers of Shongo, they believe that Shongo is the giver of twins. And Shongo is God of thunder and lightning. When you're talking about the table, you talk of this place, different other place in the Shogo. Perhaps the first palace down there has been existing for more than 600 years. Though it's being used as temple by Oshun devotees now, but still as the first prayer too, where the kings normally come once in the year and offer prayer. And a place where the people will have to be sure rest of house before going back to the palace. And down there, uh, you have Oshu, Ojuba Oshun. And this statue is a big issue. It is one of the gods in Yoruba land. And it is believed in Yoruba land that whenever you go to the house of Eshu, you must find woman's come. That's why Sodin is come. And Eshu is God of natural justice. This is also the pit of Shun. So we're moving here now. Yeah, we call this place it Egbe. Egbe means spiritual partner. It is believed in Yoruba land that we have a spiritual partner. 
And if someone is being tormented by his or her spiritual partner, this is where they disassociate them. And these are the sacrificial materials used for the solution. They use sugary things because they believe the little children can be initiated through sugary things. And here we have a statue of a woman blessed with twins by the goddess. And this depicts Ogun. Ogun is god of iron. And here, like I said, we have the first palace. And we have Oshun devotees here. We have Baba Wuru here. They are the ones taking care of this place. And we do advise our visitors to give them whatever you can give. Please. This plant, okay. you can find it in the king's palace, and it, you can find it in a place very close to the shrine. Okay. And in the, in the olden days, if our fathers were coming from the farm and they carry something that is very heavy, they will go and keep it recycled. Okay. Nobody yeah, must go there and pick. <laughs> if anybody do, the person will die before seven days. Mm. This is the main shrine. This is Ojuba Oshu. And that's that started the pit, the goddess, welcoming everybody to the shrine. And this river here, we don't call it water. Mm -hmm. We call it Agbo because of the potency of the river. People do come throughout the water to fetch. Some people repackage and say, when you go to some shops, you see Shelley, this Shelley will for you. And this river here is from Igede Kitty. That's the source. And that's that they depict the, depict a warrior, okay, by name. So this is Ojuba Osho. This is where the goddess is being worshipped annually. These things come out. Just say, you see, man. Hey. Yo, we want you. I tell you, if you calm down, I will put diamond back. You know the fear. <laughs> We see teas. Teas. We saw teas. This place. Uh, the people you met down there, they devotee. The there are certain things they must not do or eat. If they do shop or not, we deal with them. And some people will come to the goddess for something and they will pledge to bring something at the end of the day. And when they have been blessed, they will refuse to pay their pledge. If anybody do shop or not, we deal with the person. And the standing one depicts God, why the one on prostrating position, like this one depicts those that he has dealt with that beg. Okay. <laughs> this depicts Ella. Ella serves as an intermediary between traditionalists and Olodumari, like Jesus Christ. So you can see that his leg, his leg is not touching the floor. They believe it's within heaven and health. Okay. This statue is depicted Yamoko. Yamoko was a very huge and giant woman. And she served as security to the goddess in the holding days. If people were coming from afar to attack them, she'd be able to see them. And she was the first woman that discovered the making of palm oil in Africa. So wherever they're making palm oil in Africa, you see Yamoko shrine there. And she was also specialized in indigo dye. The native of, of uh, the major occupation of the native of Oshobo mm -hmm. is indigo dye. They are specialized in dye and dye. dye, and dye. So she had three pairs of hands. The first one is advice, the middle one is money, while the last one is regret. So this is Yamoko. This bridge here, we call it suspension bridge. It has been constructed as far back as 1935. Mm -hmm. A reason for the construction of the bridge is for those that are going to their farmlands in the holding days. Okay. During the rain season, they will not be able to go through the river. Okay. That's why it was constructed. I will call it suspension because it's been suspended with this iron. Okay. It doesn't have base in the river. And because it doesn't have base, when you go on it, it will be vibrating. And this bridge was built as a state bridge during the Second World War. So this is Gada Amititi. Gada Amititi. Amititi, okay. So we'll go on it now, so you feel the vibration.